Mm -hmm. I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Andrew Poole. Andrew is chairman and CEO of Dell Wins Insurance Acquisition Corp. Andrew, it's great to have you on. Thanks for joining me. Judy, thank you for having me and thanks for your program and the NYSE for having me. Really appreciate it. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, a quick note to our viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. Now, Andrew, tell me about Delwyn's Insurance Acquisition Corp. So Delwyn's is a, is a collective. Um, it's a collective of operational leaders, technology innovators, and financing providers, strategically designed uh, in the SPAC uh, to identify, execute, and enhance market receptive insurance and insurance technology opportunities. As a group, we've got uh, decades of S&P 500, uh, Russell 2000 C-suite experience, um, like I said, access to transaction capital, um, deep into the insure tech paradigm, uh, uh, and have a, a, a SPAC-specific uh, opportunity pipeline that we're you know, ready to uh, and act on on behalf of shareholders. So now let's talk about SPACs in 2020. It's been a huge year for SPAC issuances this year. Now yes. tell me, you actually, um, you've launched the SPAC this year, but this isn't your first SPAC. You actually decided to do a SPAC back in 2018. Why'd you decide to do that? Yeah, that's, that's right. Um, so as a consequence of my career on the buy side, uh, two important factors stand out. Um, first and foremost, uh, the IPO process has been ripe for some semblance of disruption for a long time. Um, when I think about insurance specifically, the, the down bid prior to pricing, uh, insurers getting not quite the deal they bargained for, uh, and then the opposite of that, just looking at the screen, say, over the past several weeks with mega cap companies seeing IPOs priced at, uh, I don't know, less than half the value of their first trade, um, the process is, is not serving to be very efficient. It's expensive and it's not always maximizing value. Um, there was room for another way. Um, and that's why I launched a SPAC in 2018. Um, when I, the, the sort of second reason is I sort of foresaw insurance and insure tech entrepreneurs wanting a vehicle um, to go public that was as unique and innovative as themselves. Um, something, something new, something they could construct. And uh, when I launched uh, my first SPAC with my partner, Michael Gray, in 2018, um, you know, we set out to do that. Uh, and Dell Wins today is an iteration on that first SPAC based on lessons learned and watching the market essentially evolve to what it is today. So now, Andrew, tell me, what kinds of businesses are you targeting? The, the key question. <laughs> um, so, look, today we live in a transformative age for insurance, which is, which is the sector that Dell Wins focuses on, insurance and insurance technology. COVID has accelerated business model change, challenged new thinking, emboldened new competitors, um, and, and changed the way we work on a daily basis. Traditional insurance companies are under pressure to adapt quickly to this and to other things. There's an increasing uh, reliance on data uh, utilizing IoT to challenge incumbent pricing models, uh, data analytics and, and new technologies are opening up new distribution processes, uh, digitizing service providers, uh, improving the entire ecosystem uh, of quoting, policy binding, claims paying, health outcomes, uh, uh, whether or not you're going to see uh, the doctor or in conjunction with the doctor. Um, I could go on, but, but Judy, most likely you're seeing some of this disruption firsthand with your own personal insurance needs and how you purchase and utilize insurance. So, you know, we're looking to combine with an insurance company, uh, an insurance service provider, an insure tech company in that ecosystem that's uh, uh, participating in this transformative age in some fashion. Now, tell me, why do you think companies would prefer to go public via your SPAC opposed to the traditional way of going public via an IPO? Yeah, the, the, the SPAC offers a lot of flexibility so, and, and, and everything that, that, that we've now read about in, uh, in, in, in Barron's, Wall Street Journal, and New York Stock Exchange has been publicizing it. Um, there's, there's, there's benefits to uh, having a fast track IPO, the certainty of execution, 
um, a partnership with a deeply experienced team like ourselves or like numerous others that have that have listed uh, uh, on the exchange. Um, ability to complex, uh, uh, ability to uh, structure a complex transaction. Um, something very unique to Dell Wins is that now as a second time SPAC issuer, we've got a reputation of keeping our promises to a target company. And, and, and um, you know, we did that through the depths of the, of the COVID uh, sort of market crisis in March of 2020. Um, so, you know, when a potential target company asks for a reference, Delwins has a reference now on this exact product where many other SPACs are first time issuers. Um, a reference that um, you know really uh, enjoyed the experience, loved the product, the partnership, the service provided, where we promised them certainty of closure, certainty of capital, um, no down bid, uh, uh, even in the midst of something that I certainly didn't expect to have happen. That delivery is something that differentiates Delwins. Okay, well, Andrew, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thank you for joining me on NYC Floor Talk. Thanks, Judy. I really appreciate it. And thanks to uh, uh, Floor Talk and the NYSC.